Uh, okay, so guys, I'm just going to go ahead and start um, tonight's topic. So again, we are talking about physical hygiene, look, smell, and feel like a million bucks. Uh, when kids reach a certain age, keeping clean can be a little bit harder. Um, at a certain age, the hormones in your body might cause you to sweat a little bit more, cause your skin and hair to get oily a little bit faster, and this is completely normal. Uh, this happens to every single one of us. Oh, thanks, Maya. Um, and it's totally normal. Uh, what's most important, or the most important thing to remember at this stage in your life, so this is like, you know, when you're just transitioning, you know, from like, let's say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, around that age, um, when your body starts to change, it's really important that you try to keep clean. Um, and I mean, even Ibrahim, I have to remind them to shower. So don't worry, it doesn't go away. You have to be reminded even as an adult. Um, so, uh, it's often referred to as keeping good hygiene. So when you're looking for, you know, applying for a job or a committee, you know, people want to hire and be around people that have good physical hygiene, but sometimes, um, having good physical hygiene can take some work. So like Ibrahim takes like a good hour to get situated, to shave that hair and the beard and all these things. So keep in mind guys, that's 20 minutes, not an hour. No, he's lying. An hour. Um, and once he gets a deodorant and tries to kill me with the cologne. Um, so these are things to keep <laughs> in mind. Um, so it can take some work to practice good physical hygiene, but once you get in the, you know, swing of things, it's not too bad. <coughs> so why do we care about good he hygiene? Hygiene helps us make a good first impression. People will remember you because you're smart, funny, kind, and not because you smelled a little funny. So you don't want to be that one person in the room where you're like, hmm, does something smell? Um, so here are going to be some tips on ways to maintain good hygiene. All right. <clears throat> First one, most important, bathing. Teens and preteens should be in the habit of showering at least once a day. Twice as good, too. Soap and warm water are the best thing after a day of classes, sports, or even just hanging out. Wear deodorant or antiperspirant. You guys, normally at the gym, I'll be giving you guys all your deodorants, but right now we're not at the gym, so I'll just show you. Apply every morning. Every morning? Oh, man. And after you shower? That's a lot. Apply every morning and especially after you have had a shower to keep from smelling sweaty it may not you you may not be able to smell your sweat but others can so guys this is a really good point so you don't always smell your own smell because you're used to it so sometimes ibrahim comes home from work you know after being out in the sun all day carrying 60 pounds of weight and he's like oh i don't need to shower but yeah. i can smell him so guys keep in mind so these are like daily routines to get into, whether you feel like you smell or not. It's just good to use soap and water to clean ourselves, to you know, kill off any bacteria, whether you think you smell or not. Smell is just one one thing. And especially like little boxers. Yeah, as yeah. athletes, we sweat a lot more than the average person. When I was boxing in many competitions, all the countries, you're in one room and you all sweat and lose the weight together. So imagine, Boxing tournaments are quite smelly. Oh, it was a stinky Boxers' room. hotel rooms are disgusting. Oh. oh gosh, MJQ will never be like these bad boys, the Ibrahim. But it was mm -mm. out of necessity. It was not. You had to lose the weight and you really couldn't shower because you but had you, priorities. You could not put the sweaty, wet clothes in a ball on the floor in the washroom. That's no, but that's how you dry it. <laughs> Anyways. Do not listen to Ibrahim. <laughs> all right, back to my, um, all right. Deodorant. When you reach high school, it's important to bring a change of clothes and your deodorant to school if you're taking part in gym class or sports. Um, some high schools have showers. Um, not too many kids shower. My high school had a shower, so I used it a bit when I was older. But you don't have to shower, but the main know. thing is many schools do require you to change your clothes. So make sure if you're going into high school, uh, oh, you definitely want to bring a change of clothes. Brush and floss your teeth. That is very important. I don't do the flossing much. At least twice a day in the morning and again before before bed to avoid cavities and other painful and to, uh, painful tooth and gum problems. 
gum health can affect your overall body health. Wash your hands, wash your hands, and really wash your hands before you eat, after touching surfaces unless that might be filled with dirt and germs that you can't see, like poles on the buses or subways, and especially after you go to the washroom every time. Really, wash your wash your hair twice. Uh, wash your hair twice a week. Really? Sorry, it should be at least. Oh, at yeah, least sorry. twice a week. This will keep it from becoming greasy, which can make it smell funny to other people. But keep in mind, too, guys. So this uh, depends on your hair texture. So I know um, certain cultures, maybe you only have to wash your hair once a week. So definitely ask around your own community group, your own support group, and find out what's best for your hair texture. Um, as you know, people like me, our hair gets greasy really quick, um, where other people's hair gets uh, does not get greasy that quick, and you want to make sure me. You, you keep it doesn't the, get greasy. Keep the oils in. So, in terms of the hair washing, that's definitely something you want to ask a family member or aunt or uncle. Uh, what's the best for your hair texture? Okay, shaving. If you're not sure how to do it properly, ask an adult in your family. They can show you how it's done without cutting yourself. And uh, on the shaving note, when you guys get to that stage, uh, I will say like, <laughs> shaver, razors are very cheap at the dollar store. Like Ibrahim uses dull razors all the time and he gets all these little nicks. So guys, don't, don't be too cheap. You know, you want to protect yourself. Ibrahim's so cheap, he uses dull razors and then he gets all these little cuts. Listen, the razor lasts two months. But I mean, they're quite cheap and it's, it's important to have a nice clean razor when you get old enough to shave. Yeah, actually, uh... I'll tell a good tip of advice. Don't cheap out on, on, on razors. Uh, you do feel the burn and you're more prone to getting cut, which I... It's not nice. It's not often. nice when you get those little nicks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep your nails clean, hands and toes, by keeping them short. Um, if you want to keep grow your nails, that's, no, that's okay, but make sure you clean underneath. Um, just take out the gunk, the dirt out of it. And for, for, I mean, female athletes putting on boxing gloves with long nails is not the best because you can break off a nail inside the glove. Um, but obviously that's your personal decision. Never share makeup brushes or makeup with others. This can lead to spreading bacteria which might cause infections on your skin, especially around your eyes and mouth. Really? I thought everybody shared makeup. Oh. <laughs> Cover your mouth when sneezing or coughing. Use your arm instead of your hand. Young ladies, remember your monthly period is normal. If you need uh, products, we got your back. We always have these available for free at the MGK or Champion Center. Leave the perfumes and colognes alone. Soap and deodorant are enough. There is no need to try to mask the smell of sweat with perfumes and cologne. So this is a good tip for Ibrahim. So Ibrahim thinks if he smells, he can just go and spray. And you guys, I'm not even lying. Sometimes he'll spray for breeze. I'm not joking. He'll spray for breeze on himself. Like that's somehow gonna mimic uh, or, or hide the body odor. But guys, no. Soap and water is mandatory. Even you don't even really. I mean, soap and water is most important, but certainly. Everybody knows that time you get in the elevator and someone's like hits you with cologne. Uh, you know, less is more in these situations. Yes. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the end of that. Just uh, keep in mind, being clean is impo important. You don't need um, fancy clothes or expensive name brands to be happy. Being clean and being yourself is the best way to find happiness. And also... Um, it opens doors in a sense you're a clean person somebody will strike up a conversation um, you leave a good impression when you go to an interview as opposed to um, you know not uh, being kept I guess I just to add on to that like quickly so I do have a friend that uh, he's an NBA ref so places like the NBA they actually have like an image clause so you have to be a certain uh, within a certain weight you have to have your face clean shaven your hair a particular way so depending on what your like what type of career you're looking at, um, definitely your personal hygiene can come into play whether or not you're gonna get hired for that position. So we're gonna go ahead and get Anjay on for the first question of today. <clears throat> so Coach Jay Coach Jay Z. 
And also a side note too for amateur boxing, um, when you compete, the males you have to be clean shaven. Hi, I'm good. I'm good. You eat some chocolate? Um, ice cream. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I think you have a little bit on your face. <laughs> Speaking of look, smell, and feel like a million bucks. <laughs> okay, NJ, so tell us, uh, how many times a day should a teenager practice or take a shower? Uh, um, twice. Uh, how many times? Twice. Twice, yeah, exactly. What happens though if I like um, showered in the morning and I went to school and then I went to either like boxing or karate training. I sweat a lot. Um, do you always have to shower twice a day or only sometimes? Um, like sometimes? Yeah, sometimes, exactly. So if you didn't really sweat too much, a lot of people just shower once a day, either morning or night. But if you are an athlete and involved in sport or dance, um, or it's just really hot and you don't have AC, you might want to consider um, showering twice a day. All right, excellent. Five points, NJ, kick us out. We are going to go to Elijah. Hello. What's hey, up? Elijah, how's it going? Good. How's your day? Good. Anything exciting happen? Um, no, it's pretty much just the usual. Aren't you excited to go to PA day? Oh, yeah, but that's all right. <laughs> you look happy. Did yeah, I'm a bit news? happy. No, I'm just having a good day. Oh, that's the best ever. Okay, your question. <laughs> a little me. It's more of take me through steps. You've got I'm gonna give you a scenario like a day and what are you gonna do? Okay, so <clears throat> you wake up in the morning and you have to go help after you wake up in the morning, obviously eat breakfast, you're going to tell me what you're going to be your routine in the morning. You're going to go help a friend um, doing some gardening. What are you, and obviously you're going to get dirty. What are you going to do after that? And then later on, you got um, a date with, with, uh, with a lady and... Oh, a date. <laughs> yeah, so tell me, give me the steps. What are you going to do with the first thing that you wake up? After you finish, let's go step by step. What are you going to do when you wake up in the morning? So just to clarify, um, so you're going to do gardening and then you have a date. We're a little late for it. So this is when you're 18. Because we know you're not going to have a girlfriend until you're 18. Exactly. 18? Yes. Yep. I heard your mom nah. tell me. I heard this. Oh, I heard this. 18 is a good age to have a that girlfriend. Is that is true. So this step one, girlfriend. what are you going to do before you go gardening? Um, when, when I wake up, I'm gonna, like, brush my teeth, of course, yes. and wash my, Amazing. wash my face, and I have breakfast, and probably, yeah, get, um, get smelling good in that way. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so then you're gonna go do your gardening, and now you're all full of dirt, and you gotta get ready to go for a nice dinner. So, okay, so after that, I will come home, and I'll go and take a, sh a quick shower. Quick? Yeah, quick. Home, it, just, it depends Trust what Trust me, Miranda, he's so much like Abraham when you were saying, I'm like, you better be. <laughs> He's spraying when he smells, he's spraying on, oh on that same God, dirt. Oh, my God, that's Ibrahim. Oh, my God, he kills me all the time. I'm like, oh, my God, please. And Ibrahim is like, oh, should I go get some more? Sometimes I have to actually tell him to get up Shower. Flossing is not good. So. Flossing is good. Oh my god. 
Okay, so we had a shower, and are we all ready to go on our date? Um, no, we have to dress nice, okay. uh, so we can talk to ladies. <laughs> Serious thing we're going on. And spray to, to over, overdo it. So you put deodorant and just and a lotion your skin, of course. Oh, yes, and Elijah, you are getting so much points right now. You think we'll do these things? <laughs> <laughs> and then put a tiny bit of um the spray. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you should be good to go. Then. Okay, good. I think that's ten points because he even added in body lotion. Like it, Elijah. Woo! Could you bring some of these uh, personal hygiene tips? Oh, please, Miranda. He doesn't do these things. That lotion bottle has been sitting <laughs> there full for years. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay. Check us out. <laughs> Check us out. That's awesome. Yeah. Whew. That's making me blush. All right. <laughs> All right. And Jay. This guy's having me taking my allergy medication, so. Uh, bear with me here. <clears throat> All right, and Jay. All right, hi, Anya. Okay, hi. and Jay, tell us, um, when you go to high school uh, and you start taking gym class or you're playing intramural sports, what's one thing you have to remember to do? Um, wait. What's the question again? Yeah, so uh, once you get to high school, um, and or if uh, in high school, if you're either taking gym class or you're taking a sport, like either at lunchtime or after school, what's one thing that you have to remember to do? Um, bring water. Oh, yeah, bring water. And what else? I'll take a shower after, like, after the class. And then after you shower, what are you going to put on? Are you going to, like, do your class and be all sweaty and then shower and put the sweaty clothes back on? No. What are we going to do? Change clothes. Right, exactly. So as we get to high school, it's so important to remember to bring a change of clothes if you take gym class or you're going to do a sport. And what about this? Are we going to apply this? Um, is, oh, yeah, 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 hand sanitizer. Oh, hand sanitizer, that's deodorant. So once you get to high school, guys, and you're taking sports, you gotta remember your deodorant. So you wanna bring a change of clothes for gym class or if you're taking a sport. And then, you don't, I mean, if, if you wanna shower at school, you can, if you don't want to, that's okay. Just change your clothes and bring your deodorant. All right, good job. NJ, five points, Nine. kick us out, champ. All right, next question is for Elijah. For those of you turning in, guys, we are watching Look, Smell, and Feel Like a Million Bucks. <clears throat> Personal hygiene. I feel like this is one of the classes, like, Ibrahim is like, do as I say, don't do as I do. Because, I mean, we could go over this every day, this basic hygiene. All right, welcome back. Uh, Elijah. Oh, I have so many tips, too. So many tips. Ooh, I'm scared. Yeah, so many tips. Mm -hmm. But I probably wouldn't. Like for example, let's stick to the content. Hand sanitizer works good. No, but I will say Ibrahim is right. So if you ever get in a pinch and you don't have deodorant with you and you feel like, oh, like I've been in many situations where sometimes I had to take TTC to an interview and then I'm like, oh my God, I kind of smell. If you take hand sanitizer and you put that on your armpits, it actually kills the deodorant. So if you ever get stuck um, and you feel like you smell, you can use hand sanitizer. It kills the bacteria. And a pinch. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, way back in the day, they used to have like little samples of cologne that you put like a two Cologne does in. not kill body Or water. back in the days, the reason remember hand sanitizer Sears, does that is because it's alcohol. It has alcohol. It's Sears with a date. If you know you're going on a date or something, you'd go walk through the perfume aisle at Sears and a little spray away you go. But yes, yeah. if you're on a budget, you can try that approach. <laughs> Next question. All right, Elijah. Okay, I'm going to give you a scenario. 
Give us something scenario. easy, though, because I gave Elijah an easy one. I mean, um, Angie, an easy one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what are very important Okay, when should you brush and flush your teeth? Uh, uh, flush your teeth. Brush and floss your teeth. What it, it's recommended that it's twice a day, but could there be an exception to that rule? What do you mean exception? So, um, for example, they say yes, brush your teeth morning and night, but. Um, say you have an interview or something you just stop for a coffee or you just had something and you got all these things stuck in your teeth thinking about cavities and uh, your gum health would there be an exception would you ever brush your teeth more than twice a day yeah you could um, do that yeah you can do that for sure cuz if you have stuff stuck in teeth go ahead uh -huh. If you have like things stuck in your teeth, like and you have bread pieces or everything, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Five points, mm -hmm. Like a mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, rinse. even a mouthwash. Yep. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes. That's amazing. That's... We didn't even right. add, we don't even have mouthwash on. We should add that one yeah. on. All right, cool, cool. Kick us All out, right. kick us out. support, man. Yeah. See you soon. All right. Back to so guys, everyone's gonna get Elijah. whoa two more. Uh, well, so Elijah will get one more, and NJ two more. Oh no, NJ, you're going back to Elijah. Oh, I think it's too late. Is it? Let's try again. Uh, NJ. Hello. Oh. Sorry, we made a mistake. Yeah, let me go back to kick us out again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you. I think Andrew, I didn't see his, maybe under oh, his mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right, Andrew. All right, Andrew, you get a two part question, okay? Part one okay. tell me some examples of when you should wash your hands. Like, after, like, uh, before I eat food, and yep. like after I eat food. Um, yep. after I go to the toilet, and, yep. yeah. Uh, any other and, time? And, yeah, I, and then my hands get dirty, of course. Perfect, exactly. Uh, and the next question for you is, how many times a week should you wash your hair? So if you shower every day, do you have to wash two. your hair every, pardon? No, at least two. Yeah, exactly, at least two, uh, depending on your hair texture. So some people might have to wash their hair only once. Uh, some people might wash it a little bit more. I'm just going to give you one more last question. And that is, if you have to cough, how do you cough so that... Um... Oh, perfect. Good job. So five points, NJ. Great job. Uh, you'll get one more question tonight, okay? Okay, bye. Bye, right, we'll see you soon. Okay, let's go to Elijah. Okay, I'm come up with a question. Oh. Hello. All right, last question, yeah. champ. Last question of the day. No oh, you went second. Yeah. Did you go second? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, you're going to get one more question then. Sorry. Okay. I thought well, you went first. I'm so used to you being on the call first. All righty. When should you wear your deodorant or antiperspirant? Um, every, day. every single day, like always. That should be no. <laughs> you say that like, do you wear your deodorant every day? Exactly. Me? Exactly. No way. There's exactly. no. no. I was gonna say, you know how much time I have to tell um, Katula to put on his deodorant? Like, I'm like, did you put on your deodorant? Uh, oh, I have to put on my deodorant. I'm like, did you put on your deodorant? Oh, I have to put on my deodorant. It's like. Mm -hmm. every <laughs> it's not possible. It's impossible for me to. Well, that's good. I'm glad you know. I mean, it's good to know that everybody knows that they should. It's just a habit. It's habit forming. And sometimes, if you're, 
Deodorant can be like a half shower. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I know. Deodorant is not a shower. Okay, kick us off, but hang on because you'll get one more question. Right. Okay. So, okay, back to A and J. All right, guys, if you want to join the show, hit us up in the comments box. Make money, $5 for answering. Um, just for taking part, whether you get a right or wrong answer, you can still make five bucks. Okay, NJ, your question is, um, what happens if you have a boxing match and the official tells you you have to shave? What do you do? Wait, um, what's the question again? Okay, you, you're going to a boxing match for a competition yeah. and you go to the weigh-in and the official uh, referee, she tells you, oh, NJ, you have to shave. You have this like peach fuzz down here. What do you do? I'm like, I have to, sh I, like, I have to shave like all the, all the like, these things. Yeah, so what, what, would, what would, you, would you just go and try to do that by yourself? No. What would you do? Um, I think I need help. Yeah, exactly. That's right. You have to ask for some help. So good job, NJ. That is a wrap for today. Excellent job. Bye. See you later. So we have one more question for our Elijah. And then we'll wrap it up. You guys definitely know what to do to look, smile, and feel like a million bucks. Ibrahim knows what to do too, but he doesn't always do it. Alrighty. Okay. So, hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's um. Well, you're getting close to this age. All right. So, keeping on the topic of shaving, is it? Tell me the reason why. Is it good? To keep using the same razor for two months plus? No. No. No, and why do you think it's not good? Because, I mean, you don't know what is what what has gone on to it. Mm -hmm. Any of the things that have like gone on. Like yeah. bacteria and stuff. And then after if you use it it's again, it's just going to... It's dull gonna, too, right? Yeah, and you're, if you use it again, it's just going to go right back on you. No, it cuts your skin if you... If you, if you Reusing it, you get those. It it, it even hits your skin because it gets dull. Ibrahim, it gets dull. Yeah. Well, good job. You and start. guys, just I'll point out a couple more things just since we're here, and I'll share the life of our our relationship. So number two, do not share razors. So yes. Two people live in your house. Like I said, they're pretty cheap. Don't steal your wife or your sister or your brother's razor. Get your own razor. Yep, I told you about that. And, <laughs> and um, for all the people, the young people out there that are going to try shaving for the first time, remember, uh, you never want to shave your skin dry. Um, <laughs> most people either use a soap or what are those called? Um, okay. Shaving yeah. creams. Um, yep. So those are actually used to protect uh, your skin. And I did learn once uh, from a girlfriend. Huh? If you don't have any shaving cream or you find soap dries out your skin, you can use hair conditioner uh, as a, a lubricant when shaving. So, you know, when you guys get old enough to shave, make sure you do it safely and don't steal your mom's razors. Yes. Yes. See, Ibrahim laughs because you guys, he's so guilty. No. My goodness, what I have to put up with, you don't even know. <laughs> and viruses are so cheap. <laughs> transfers um certain types of viruses like um yeah, I mean, man. yeah gross. Like, yeah <laughs> it's just gross it's people um, so any husbands out there watching don't steal your wife's razor okay that's gross no but the female razors they have it's so much smoother they got the nice little what? soft spot at the top it's like well, so nice. I will share with you guys. So just so you know, there's actually no, nothing called a woman's razor. So yeah. basically, Gillette uh, years ago just created this men's yeah. and women's razors just to sell more razors. So a man can certainly use a woman's razor, and I we like I don't use like women's razors. I just use the Gillette razors from Costco. But um, that was all a gimmick to sell more razors. So guys, sometimes yeah, but it has a nice little stripe on it that says vitamin E and oh feels so okay. soft. It's got like six of those blades. It's 
it's so nice. <laughs> so that calls a, a wrap for today. Um, so today's session we have Elijah twenty five and NJ twenty. So great job at tonight's session, and we will see you all either tomorrow at one of Eve's or Jimmy's classes, or we will check you guys out on Saturday. All right, good job, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you.